What is happening you lot? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel. Today we've come away for another league game. We've come to Sawbridgeworth Town. But before we get into the video and today's game, it's Ricky Evans' birthday. So make sure you comment down below saying happy birthday. And we've got a few party poppers and we're going to go surprise him. Hey, you Rick, we were waiting for you, man. It's your birthday. <laughs> Do you know how much those cost me? I'll be very happy if we win the game and then we can have a little beer. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 back. All right. <laughs> he doesn't approve. Get lost. Anyway, where have you been? Tell the people. Uh, I've been on holiday. My parents got married. I was in the Caribbean in St. Lucia. Love that. Um, so I've had a great time been supporting the boys in the Caribbean, been doing well. Insert the fire that was taken to you, hashtagging it there. Love that. Never forget. Never forget to hashtag it. Um, now my mum, uh, stepmum and dad are all going to be here today supporting the hashtag. Um, it's going to be us get back in the team, the boys are doing good. But I'm looking forward to the challenge and let's go and do something in this league now. What is that? What are you looking at? Jules, talk to me about those on your... Uh... Well, on initials. your socks. Initials on the socks. Do you know what it is? Yeah, what is it? When my mum does the washing. Uh, yeah. Oh, I have to make sure. She always puts it in the wrong part. Oh, uh, okay. Like I understand. understand. The socks. I know exactly what they are. Oh, it's alright, there we go. Why is he looking so homeless though? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, how's he going to do him like that? Hey, it's been a while, man. A hey, little bit of news. I'm getting a trim the next time I play. <laughs> That? Could be sooner, <laughs> sooner than you think. End of the season. I give, I give you a little, a little, a secret. I might be playing Wednesday. What is going on here then? No, that way. It's that way. It's that way. So oh. basically, that's the nearest plug. And the wire isn't long enough, so it's going to have to be put up there. What do you think would be the appropriate birthday present to give to Ricky Evans? Wow! What question that is, by the way? That's a, that's a tough question. Surely a pipe, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a pipe! <laughs> Look at this, by the way. Come on. Not pro clubs, this is real life connection. Chemistry 100. They took out our chairman. What's your voice? Voice is gone. You're done. Are you commentating? Yeah. I made some notes for you. Thank you very much. I thought I was going to need them at some point because I'm vlogging, but you've helped me out. I haven't got the opposition team yet. Yay! I know I'll team up with you down there in a second. We've got top goal scorers, sisters, Sober Draft stats, played wow. four, lost four. So we've lost every game this season okay. in the league. Oh, wow. Yeah. Love that. Similar shape to the other night, with slight change of personnel. For all the kind of the, the praise and applaudits I give you the other night, today's another day. It'll be a different type of challenge. Um, I know there's a kind of a, a tendency to look at what the other team's doing and how they're faring. Not interested, don't care. As I say to you all the time, if we apply ourselves properly, and by that, it's, it's Tuesday night, not last Saturday, in terms of our attitude and our application and how quickly we do things and our brightness. We have got pace and quality to drive forward with. This just makes sure that we don't panic on that final ball. Hit good areas and let people go and make them good balls. Right? We had a good opportunity today to put in a performance and get a result. Let's go, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hashtag United game. I'm doing my best on commentary today, but I have lost my voice a bit, so you might hear a little bit more of LP than Spencer today. But Lou, we're going up against uh, Sawbridgeworth Town, currently bottom of the league, played four, lost four. You say it's a potential banana skin, but really we should be winning it. Well, I agree. I think today will be um, 
a good test also for Harry Honesty who's going to be playing up front today yes Harry Honesty in a slightly different position a few players having to get used to a formation you, you would have seen us use earlier in the week in the cup game against Halstead but yeah as things have stood Sawbridge Rough haven't picked up a point in the league however they have signed some new players they've signed some players from uh, St Margaretsbury who we played recently whose manager's now left so there's a bit of movement from the two clubs so it could be a good test they're going to get some points at some point in the season let's hope it's not against us let's take a look at the team we're using for this important league game in goal we've got Tim Pittman back in the side after Cav Clark played in the cup and in defence we've got Ross Gleed for Ice and Garno and Marcus Stamp who keeps his place after an impressive performance against Halstead in midfield we've got Ricky Evans and Lee Hurst starting today at wing back we've got uh, Jack Martin got a great assist Joshua Sude also keeping that role at right wing back or right midfield, however you look at it. Captain Ryan Adams ahead of them. And up front, Triple H, Harry Honesty, striker alongside George Smith. On the bench, that means we've got Cav Clark, Al V. Keith, Sam Raj Gill, Neil Richo Richmond and Kane Brogan. Let's play. Sawbridge Rough Town get us underway here then in the red and black kits. Hashtag in the home, yellow and blue, despite us being away at Crofter's End it's a historic club formed in 1897, playing in their third century. Hashtag still in the first. George Smith's got Jack Martin to his left. Finds him. Jack up against his man. Goes inside. Finds Ryan Adams. Does he get a shot off? He shapes up to play to Joshua Sude instead. Sude waits for a chance to beat his man. Puts it across. Got to be a goal. And no one's finished it. And that's a great bit of wing play from Asude. How bright was that? And how many times have we seen that this season? He's taken the ball. He's waited for the player to commit, taken the touch out and put the ball in with some venom. It's a shame no one's put away. He's put it in a perfect area there. George Smith couldn't get on the end of it. Nor can Harry. Early chance for hashtag. Coming through to the big man up top, number nine. That's uh, Bushel. And here comes the 10, number Palmer. Palmer's going to whip it on the left foot. It's not a bad ball. Ross Gleed needs to deal with it. And that is a good header from Sorbishworth. It's a goal out of nothing, Lewis. Good ball into the box. Gleedy does not clear his lines. And it's headed in by number seven, Donaldson. I mean, you could probably say that we allowed number 10 to have too much space to then put the ball in. And Ross Gleed may be caught out of position. But it's a good start from them. Doesn't mean we can't bounce back. The clean sheets are gone. That was five in a row up to this game, but not today. And now we've got to concentrate on getting the three points. Loads of space here, right centre back. He's got Hurst with him, he's just taken too long there, and that's not good from Stampy. He's put his team under pressure here, big time. Bit of defending to do for Farai, who gets one touch on it. Come through! And it's wide, and it easily could have been a second Lou. Unfortunately, that's Stampy being, again, like I said earlier, we need to do things a bit quicker, but he's been caught out, and luckily Farai managed to get a touch and put him off the first time, but obviously their next chance went wide. Donaldson sends it high, but not very far. He's going to get a second go. A well Sude with a fantastic jump against a man bigger than him. George Smith gets Ref. a push in the back. You know what? If that's anywhere else on the pitch, I reckon he gives it. Because it was in the box, or not clear the box. I think the ref has weirdly given a corner. I thought it was either a free kick yeah, or a goal kick. I agree. That's what I thought as well. Either way, we'll take it. Big delivery, Lee. There's the ball. It's not bad. Ricky Evans hits it. Oh, and it's cleared by a defender. That could have been goal bound. How nice would that have been? Ricky Evans on his birthday gets the goal. Right now it's a birthday to so forget for Ricky, but there's plenty of time to change that. Ricky Evans looking for George Smith. Tried to find Ryan Adams. Great first touch from Ryan. Thought he might hit a shot there. Gives it to Lee Hurst. It's given Asude a lot to do. He'll get there though. Up against the left back. Beats him so easily. Asude, can he deliver? Oh, it's fantastic build up again from Asude. This time he just... Smashes the ball straight to the keeper. Ricky Evans throwing it down the line. Looking for Harry Honesty. He's in Great behind throw. here. Has he got anyone in the box? He holds it up first. Oh, that's good defending from Dimbarden. But now Ryan Adams coming to get involved. Finds Harry Honesty. Heavy touch. But it gets some space. On the left foot. Fizzes it across. Looking for George Smith. And defenders is everywhere for Sawbridge Worth at the minute. And now the keeper comes and gets it. That's a great... Great it's a kick, good that. kick. Asude could chase this. He's going to go straight through to Asude. Good first touch. It's it. Big save from the keeper. And the distribution from Tim Pittman was superb. Hayward. Stampy. He'll push in the back there. Gets away with it. George Smith for Harry Honesty here. McQuillan, of course, is there again. Clears it. And Sawbridge Ruff keep hold of the ball. Good from Ricky Evans to get across. Ryan now. Into George. Can he find Harry Honesty? Can't get past McQuillan at the moment. 
Got it. Harry's kept it on. on. He's got George Smith with him. Can he hit himself off the post? Denied by the woodwork. That is the chance of the game for Hashtag. And it was great from both George and Harry. Rule one, just do not give up. Harry honestly has chased the ball down, managed to keep it in play. He could argue he had a few players as an option to square it across to, but hit the post. The keepers seem to be injured from this goal kick. He finds the right back inadvertently. Ref usually stops play for a keeper injury, so oh, if he no, sees look. it, he'll probably stop it. But keeper's stayed up. Harry honestly is going to get there. Ref. See, if, if Harry goes down there, he gets a free kick. Harry stayed in his feet. Fair play to him, but he get the free kick. Now the keeper's gone down. He's going to get some treatment. Can he find a man in the box? It's a good Great ball, I think. Ball, that. George Smith looking for it. Is that a handball? It's calls of a handball from the hashtag lads. Jack Martin closes the ball down here. Looking for Lee Hurst. That's a nice knock. Lee needs to take it down and deliver. There's still a lot of yellow shirts up from the corner. Stamp it at the back post. Heads it and that is a poor header. He's had so much time there. Almost too much time. Honesty. Chests it down. Stampy behind him. Just overcomplicating it a little bit there. Giving Stampy some hard work. He goes back to Pittman. On his right foot. Not his favoured foot. Honesty coming to help out at the back now. Oh, it's done well though. The number 11, Najibade, getting forward here for Sorbage. He's going to get shot off. Luckily for Hashtag, it was near enough for Pittman to keep hold of it. Gleady throws it forward. Smith with hands all over him. Looking for Honesty. Tries to turn. McQuillan does well here. Still Honesty. Referee. No advantage played. Lee Hurst, it might have been through there as well, but you can't fault the ref for giving the free kicks. We've been asking for them. He's not been giving them to us, in my opinion, the same way he's been giving them to Sawbridgeworth, but he's going to have a chat with the big lad here because I think honestly beat him there. Lee Hurst it hits it. Straight up against the wall. Comes back to Ricky Evans, who finds Lee Hurst it again. Tries a little dink thing into Jack Martin, who scoops it onwards, and it's another missed opportunity for Hashtag. Sent forward for Hashtag. Not long left in the first half. Ryan Adams tries to come and get it. McQuillan gets ahead to it. Headed back by the four. And cleared by Webster. And the ref has played no injury time whatsoever. He's blown up at half time. So 1-0 to Sawbridgeworth at the break. Not ideal for Hashtag United. But it's 45 minutes left to play. Hopefully to get back in this game. But as things stand, very disappointing first half for Hashtag. Let's see what Devs has to say. You look like a team. Quite content and happy to be getting beat. That's what it looks like. And this is what worries me. Every time I give a little bit of praise to you as a group, you follow it up with a nonsense performance like that. The basics, the absolute basics, are not there. It kills me because you're a team in every single way in here, but then sometimes out there you look like strangers. And there's no, there's no wanting to go and work hard for each other. There's no going to run that extra little bit. Going, and, that, and that, it's not, I'm not just talking about running and chasing the ball for no reason. We chase the ball down the line and then we take an age to join in. And there's no show and no support. Good sides don't go from there to there. They don't do it. It just doesn't happen. And we're not a good side today. You don't just show up for the games that you think are going to be tough, boys. That doesn't happen. It certainly won't, it does not happen. You've taken that for granted and and actually i'm ashamed of that i'm ashamed of the attitude i'm ashamed of the oh it's going to be easy and now you've got into a point where things might not quite go your way and you're just gonna have to take it on the chin and override it and come uh, and overcome it we will not look to excuse we'll not look elsewhere for excuses i'm not going to do that it is about us us in here us as a squad that's where the responsibility lies and that's where it stays no hard luck stories. You get out there and you put it right. And you put it right and you get going immediately and put it right. Communication, effort, desire, commitment. I worry about the quality after. Because without those things, we're nothing. Without those things, we are nothing. Ricky Evans going to get us underway in this second half. And what is a big 45 minutes for hashtag. Very disappointing in the first half. We need to leave here at three points, Lou. If we don't, it'll be a big, big, big disappointment. Ricky Evans. Got Jack Martin out to the left. I think he's found him with a good little ball. Defender's done enough, though, to head it away. The captain there, Willsmore. Jack Martin goes back to Ross Gleed. Harry Honesty takes a touch. Gets away from his man. Left foot. Sprays it across. Calls he's for a handball. Penalty has been given. Hashtag United. And it's going to be Ross Gleed to take. Last penalty was against St. Margaretsbury. He scored it. Will he do the same again, Lou? 
Of course he will. We have full faith in Ross Glead, but Harry Honesty there, making things happen. Second half is a good start to the second half, but we can't be too proud of our performance today. Up against the keeper, Hayward. Ross Glead for hashtag United. We need Glead speed. And he's put it wide. He's put it wide. It's the first penalty I've seen him miss. I don't know what to say. I mean, you know, a goal right where we needed it. He's held on to the ball too long here. It's going to come to Donaldson. He's going to go through to number nine. For Sawbridgeworth, Pittman gets a very big hand to it and stops what would have been another goal for Sawbridgeworth. We're hanging on. Clinging on for dear life right now. Come off the back of missing a penalty and now nearly scoring at the other end. It's not what we want at all. Lee Hurst looking for George Smith. Osude's going to come across. Doesn't give it up, but the keeper gets there first. Oh, what's he doing? So the five has come across here with Osude. He did raise his arms a little bit, and the five's gone down fairly uh, dramatically, we'll say. Yeah, I mean, from the angle we have here, I can't see whether or not there was actual contact or if it's a over-exaggeration over or anything like that, but it's just not what we want right now. It's going to be a yellow card, I think, for Josh Asude, I hope. It's a yellow card for Josh Asude. Sent towards the box. Folks up against Albie Keith, who's just Good been boy. subbed on. It's going to come over to Donaldson, the goal scorer. Tries to flick it in towards the running player. And it's 2 0. And how has that happened? We've just introduced two players onto the pitch. And we find ourselves 2-0 down, Lewis. Honestly, I don't even know how that's happened. I mean, you could probably ask that Galidi wasn't tight enough to his man, but then you could ask the Christian Tim Pittman not being certain enough for coming out. He's come out and he's gone back again. They've taken their chances, pure and simple. They've had a couple of decent ones and they've scored them both. We've hit the post. We've had a shot saved from a Sude's effort in the first half. We haven't troubled the keeper enough. We don't, we don't deserve it. Honesty throws it back to Galidi. Can Galidi deliver? He goes back to Honesty instead. Harry now needs to pick out a pass. There's a lot of Sawbridge rough shirts in the box. He wins another corner. Hurst it with the corner. Looking for George Smith. It goes over him. It's going to come to Richo at the back post. He takes a touch. Hits it. Wow. That is a goal. Wow. Richo on the pitch and in the score sheet. He's fifth of the season. That's why he's top goal scorer. But Lewis, is there time? There is time. But Richo's come in with that experience, composure, an absolute stunning finish from Richo. Let's Go. Drop, drop, Stampy finds Hurset. Hurset gets through the number eight, folks. Still Hurset. Oh, he's gone down there and he's won a free kick. I actually think he's done quite well to win that because I'm not, I'm not sure it's a foul. I mean, he's done very well to pick the ball up and win the 50-50, move forward, but then the players had to do something. Ricky's going to take it, I think. Ricky Evans. On his birthday. Happy birthday. Ricky Evans. Ricky. Oh, oh my God. He's been into the side oh netting. Oh, my God. But did that not hit the wall? I thought he hit the wall. I was about to go over and sing happy birthday to him. That didn't get a deflection? No deflection. Wow. Throw from Ajibade. Comes back to Palmer here. Shows too much of it to Ricky. Hurst is going to try and turn and find Albie Keith. Right, can we get Albie going now? He's got Richo ahead of him. Looking for him, but McQuillan is there again. Centre back. Gives it straight to Lee Hurst. Though hashtag got a bit more of a spring in their step now. Lee Hursick getting forward. He's going to try and put it across the box. Again, if he'd played it a second later, I think Richard would have been on the end of it. I agree, but we've definitely got a spring in our step and we're looking a little bit more promising. Still a lot of work to do. Got to aim it at Richard and George here, surely. Headed away by McQuillan as far as Lee Hursick. He's put it back in towards danger. It's going to bounce in front of the keeper. Oh, and he's had to push it over for a corner. Well, Lee's asked a question, hasn't he? There's nothing wrong with that. He's played over the top. We've got to test this keeper, Lou. He's made one save that I can remember. That's from a Sude shot. We need to test him some more because we've seen Richo beat him once. Another corner for Lee Hurst. It well into the double figures now. That has gone wow. very high. It's going to come to Richo. He takes a touch. Hits it. Oh, is that a handball? There's calls for a handball. There's a lot of calls for handball. And I think because the ref has given a penalty already, he doesn't want to give another one. But that looked like a handball to me. And it was going in. Absolutely. I think everyone over there is really certain there was a handball but the ref's now given a corner we need to move on now what an impact from Richo he's come off the bench Amazing. he's looking very lively he's been unlucky not to get a second there cleared long 
Gleady needs to deal with it. Sending over to the right. Sam what Raj. a touch. Unreal touch from Sam Raj Gill. He's beating his man. He's hit it towards the back post. Richard! What yes! a goal! Sam Raj Gill off the bench. Unbelievable. And he finds Richard, who's got two off the bench. Lewis Preston. Unbelievable, Jeff. I ha you have to give credit to both players off the bench. How influential have players off the bench been this season? Sam Raj Gill has come off with an incredible touch. Played the ball across, and then Richo's had an incredible touch for his chest and just slotted it home. Let's go. That's a big moment for Sam Raj Gill in his hashtag career. You know what? There's still time for a winner, Lou. Use the momentum. My voice is gone. We don't care. We don't care. <laughs> Let's be Avenue. Sawbridgeworth kicking on, things dig off. Dig in, now. boys. Dig in. Momentum's got Let's to be go. a hashtag. Let's go. Sam Raj Gill picks it up again. Moments after assisting. Now he's found George Smith. Yeah! From kickoff. Let's go, boys. Unreal from Sam Raj Gill. No, he's given it offside. It's offside. He's given it offside. He's, he's given offside. Richard offside. I thought he might have been. What was George Smith's shot going in? I don't think it was, was it? No, I don't think it was either. I can't believe it. Oh, from kickoff as well. What a turnaround, though. Hey, Harry, now can he beat his man? He's got the pace on him. This is vintage honesty. Into Albi Keith now. Who lets it roll across him. Looking for Richo. Just doesn't make it. There's much more incisive play through the middle now. Ricky Evans. Looking for George Smith. Who could be onside here. Up against the keeper. Beats him. Got to finish it. Yeah! That's the goal. Yes! Wow. Oh my Let's God. Go, boys. Is it the best comeback you've seen from Hashtag United? <laughs> Reminds me of Newbury Forest. But we've done it in much less time, Lewis Preston. It's what we do. George Smith, the bench have all gone over to him as well. We've stepped up second half. We really have. I don't mind losing my voice when this is happening. This doesn't just make my Saturday. It makes my weekend. It makes my week, boys. George Smith. He hasn't done a lot in this game. He's done his normal hard work. He's grafted. He's made movements. And he's kept the ball up for us. But in terms of goal scoring, we haven't seen a lot of him. But he's got the goal when it happens, when it matters. He kicks it over the keeper, takes a touch. With Sorbers, where our bodies closing him down, he keeps his head and he puts it in the back of the net. From 2-0 down, we're 3-2 up and we missed the penalty. Now we need to really think about game management. Get that ball in those areas. And There's the game. final whistle. That is huge. An unbelievable comeback. It wasn't vintage performance. It wasn't good for probably 75 minutes. It was poor. However, Neil Richo Richmond off the bench. Nearly got a hat-trick. One was disallowed. He scored two. Both very well-taken goals. And Sam Raj Gill's come on. And he has done something in the middle which no one else is capable of doing. That bit of class we talked about, Lou, that we needed. Mm -hmm. He takes the ball down, beats a man, puts a delivery in. And then George Smith with the icing on the cake. Getting us the third. The winner. We missed the penalty as well, but we stuck to our guns. We get a huge three points in a game that shouldn't have been this hard. But it was, Lou. I think Devs, and I think as a club today, we shouldn't be too happy with how today's gone, but we need to be happy on how we've bounced back and really showing people what we are capable of, but we fell short in the first half. And I'm hoping you're not going to ask for a man of the match because I have to. it's tough. It is so tough, but I think for me, it's going to have to be Richo. Yeah, off the, he changed off the game. The, he changed the game. Well, same with Gil as well. Maybe they should both split it today. Yeah, Unbelievable. Gil, both. Gil was great as well, but Richo is the man of the match. And uh, yeah, we, we just have to take this one. You know, sometimes you're going to play bad and hopefully still win. That's exactly what we did today. And Sawbridge Worth, I'll tell you what, they will pick up points with that team. They've made some new additions and they're playing a lot better than they were earlier in the season. So they'll be fine, I think, if they keep these, these lads together. But a big win for Hashtag. Let's see what Devs has to say. Obviously, I know what comes with being 2-0 down and turning it around to win the game late on and the euphoria, and I, and I don't want to take that buzz away from you, but I'm not going to paper over the cracks of that performance. When we've been punished today, and this isn't just as a, this is as a, as a side, and today was the first time for a long time that I've seen a side, I've seen us, not want to defend and not be interested in defending and give things up and allow people to run off us and take the easy cheap options rather than the difficult one that might mean 
working a little bit harder and digging in a little bit more. And that's how they get their goals. There was no desire from us today until we got a sniff and realised actually where we can still win this game. Once we got that second goal, there was no doubt in my mind that we were going to win the game. The fact that we've gone the hard way about it shows we've got a string through our bow and I'm hearing the word character. But character counts at nil-nil as well. Character counts when you're one nil up. Character's not just judged about when you go one nil down or two nil down because if that happens too often, does that mean you've got good character or does it mean actually your character's not quite enough because something as bad has to happen before you can, you can, you can show the, the effort and the enthusiasm and the design and the quality even, the, the, you know, the, the, the cool head. Believe me, I'm jumping up and down inside at the win. I'm jumping up and down inside. And you can probably see it in the eyes face if you look closely enough. But we cannot escape from the performance. I refuse to escape from If you play brilliantly and you get beat, I'll tell you. If you win and you don't play well, I'm going to tell you. Impact from substitutions, again, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But well done. And I really, really hope some music plays now that the oldies can listen to. Well Wow, unbelievable win there. Richo, you were off for most of that game, obviously being the assistant manager. What were you seeing that we weren't doing right that you needed to change when you came on? I just don't think we were trying hard enough, really. Um, just, although we won the game, I think we were obviously massively disappointed with the performance. Um, I don't know, it's hard. It's just after Tuesday, coming into tonight, um, I, don't know, I don't think the effort was there. I think everyone could see the effort wasn't there. So that's what we were mostly disappointed in. So... Um, well, not more I can say, really. Well, to take the positives, two unbelievable goals from you. Can you just say down the camera, Richo still got it? Yeah, well, just about. Just about still got it. Yeah, it's, it's nice to obviously come on and score two goals, but three points is the main thing, isn't it? Three points, keep winning. That's what that's what we want to do, so. Thank you. A lot of people might not know, but man, there's a lot of help behind the scenes. So we've got this little something here as well. Just to say thank you. How many of these nails, by the way, John? Look at these nails. <laughs> Love it. Decent. Yeah. Oh my god, thank you. And thank you for giving Albie back. Yes, well, I'm glad we won today. That was touch and go for a minute there. We were worried, but we said some prayers and they didn't let us down. So yes, guys, this is where the video is going to be ending. But guys, what a battle that was. I mean, it took us a while to get into it, but we got there in the end and we got the three points, which is all we can ask for the boys today. But... This is currently where we're sitting in the league. So the next two games actually aren't in the league. The next game we have is on the 11th of September. We're going to get to Brentwood Town at home in the Thameside Trophy. And then after that, we have Brentford away. And that's going to be for the FA Vars. If you guys want to get yourself to that game, make sure you check all the links down in the description on how you can get to that. Be updated with our Twitter. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell. And as always, don't forget to hashtag it.